All right, next step, we need to add uh, ID here, JS range. So we need to fuck around with this one. We need to add an event listener and respond to the changes, all right? So let's do it real quick. Range document get element by ID JS range. Now I always like to check, like do this if range, right? In case range is undefined, just like here as well. I want to say if colors in case something happens, but colors actually colors wouldn't be a problem because colors is an array. So it could, it could be just empty range would be get element by ID. All right. And what I want to do is to do range that at event listener. And I don't know if you know this, but the range event that we want to listen to is called input. All right. Handle range change. So let's make a function handle range change event and let's console log that event. The way I found out that is input is by making many mistakes. So if it happens to you, just Google. Okay. So now we move it. Yeah. And it works. Awesome. But what I want to do is I want to look into the target. And instead of the target, default value, nope. ID, nope. Max, mim. And on, 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 on. Step range value. This one. That's what I want. So what I want is event that target. That value. There you go. So you see, this is what I was talking about when I was telling you about the minimum, the maximum and the steps. So the steps is every time you move, how much are you going to add up? If you change the steps to something like 0 0.5, it's going to move a little bit less, you see? And it goes 4.6 because it starts at 1.0. So that's what I do this, all right? And also the maximum value will just be the value that you just wanna see. In my case, I wanna just go only up to five, all right? Awesome. So now all we have to do here is again, overwrite something on the context. Let's look at the context here and the context is line width. That's it, super, super simple. So let's do context line width. And here, let's do um, stroke, yeah stroke or size and size done all right so now we are drawing and then super big where pi works and then super small awesome working now if we refresh it, go, it goes back to 0 0.5 and of course this should work as well with colors. Yes, it does. Awesome. How easy was this? Three minutes only. Okay, we need to keep it going. So we did the range. Now what I want to do is I want to fill. Okay, fill. Fill means that I want to click fill. I want to click, for example, the red button. And then when I click here, I want to just fill the whole canvas with um, with red, okay? So for this, we have a couple of things. First, the button here, when I click fill, I want to change this button to paint. And when I click paint, I want to change this button to fill, okay? That's the first thing we need to do, just to change the HTML inside of it. So let me go here, JS mode, that is my button ID, and let's get it, mode document get element by id js mode suite and here also again we check if uh what is the name mode okay mode that add event listener click 
handle mode click now over <clears throat> over here event we don't care okay now there is one thing here and what i want to do is that i want to now have a variable here called filling by default this will be false right so you will see why later actually no i'm going to explain to you why we need to have a, a variable that tells me if i'm filling if i am filling i don't want to be detecting these stupid drawings if i'm filling and i click i want to just fill the whole canvas so that's why we need to know if i'm filling or not all right so here on handle mode click i want to say filling uh if filling equals true then i'm going to set filling to false and the mode mode remember the mode mode is the button we can change mode to mode, mode button or whatever and mode that inner text should be fill right else filling true mode inner text should be paint all right refresh and let's see here if i click it says paint if i click it says fill that's exactly what i want so right now here i'm painting basically but if i click here i'm filling if i click here there you go working perfect all right i'm gonna leave you here and on the next video we are going to fill the whole canvas uh with the color that we have selected all right that's it for this video See you there. Bye-bye.